How's it going guys, it's Rich Junkie here, and today's video we're going to be on unboxing and go on a quick review here of the Motorola Moto G. Pretty pumped about this device, so let's go do this. So here we go, this is the Motorola Moto G 3rd Gen. This packaging is a little different than the other generations of the Moto G, and I'm pretty excited to open this up and check it out. So here you go, let's uh, cut into the Moto G and uh, open this box up. So hopefully we'll have some uh, cool stuff inside. I'm a little curious to see what accessories this thing comes with. So first of all, I just want to mention I did use Moto Maker to make this and uh, I'm really liking the colors. Ooh, ooh, feel that. Oh man, there's a cool texture on the back of this phone. This is uh, the blue back black front and black accent and then here you go in the box just a divider here and uh, you have your charging cable right there now the charging cable does not come out it doesn't unplug it's not a USB cable so a little disappointed but that's kinda of what I've seen on other Moto G's not too unexpected here is the startup guide with some nice pictures and then obviously safety manual right here that nobody ever reads and uh, you can look at it if you want box is empty that's pretty much it the style is amazing and the power button right here you can see is on the side right next to the volume rockers on the bottom we have the USB and a little mic pickup very clean along the side right here on the top you have a headphone jack and of course the uh, mic pickup right there on the back you have dual LED flash your camera and then obviously you also have your nice little Motorola dimple right there let's see if we can get this back open it's going to be a little tough, looks like. Uh, first time is always a little difficult. And there we go. So right up here you have your SIM card and your SD card uh, readers and slots right there. And then something I thought was interesting right here is this it does have the white little waterproofing. Because this thing is waterproof up to uh, I think 30 feet or something like that underwater. So as long as it's sealed really well on the back, you should be very well water protected. So let's go ahead and power this bad boy up. But first, let's go ahead and remove the screen protector. Whoop, boop. There we go. Very nice. So let's power this thing up. You can see it does have two uh, front-facing speakers. At least that's what it looks like. I'm assuming they're both speakers. We'll have to test that. And then huh, right there, see? Moto Maker. Hello, Root Junkie. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. So pretty cool. I really enjoyed making it on Moto Maker. So let's let this thing boot up and then I'll go ahead and show you some software that's running on the Moto G. Here it is. And uh, oh, it's my buddy uh, Darren Wilson. He is uh, having a birthday today, so very cool. Happy birthday to you. And then you can see this is just kind of overfeel of it. It's obviously running Lollipop. It does have a flashlight toggle right there, which is really nice. Um, I love flashlights. I use it all the time for work. Um, so standard kind of stuff here. You can go in and click hold down and you can look at your widgets, wallpapers, a couple different ones here. So nothing too crazy exciting there. Here's your widgets. Scroll through a couple of those. I'll add one right here. And it looks very nice. Stretch that out. There we go. And then obviously if you um, hold down you can also go into settings here. These are Google settings because this is the Google Now Launcher so just be aware of that and now uh, you got your multitasking right here scroll through all of your open windows or applications I guess you might say very nice and then this is your app drawer this is all stock it does come with uh, the FM radio application which is kinda nice I like that uh, migrate from Motorola another Motorola application up there and then I obviously installed WeatherBug already but otherwise that's it it's very very minimal and I like that in the phone. I like that a lot. Not a lot of bloatware. So we're going to settings here and uh, just kind of skim through it. This is all standard. There's Motorola right there. Um, some things you can do in it. Battery right here. It's not too bad. I'm a little bit worried about this battery life on this thing. We'll find out about that. And right here you've got some Motorola stuff right here. We can play with this later. But it's built in, it kind of automates things for you. Uh, standard, standard Moto ID, 
and then about phone and again here it is android 5.1.1 lollipop and the easter egg the lollipop and then obviously the uh, flappy android or whatever you want to call it here going through the lollipops if you want to play the game which is pretty cool i think this has changed and gotten a little easier but anyway um yeah so standard stuff right here really excited to play with this thing and uh probably unlock the bootloader custom rounds all that kind of good stuff for sure and don't forget obviously there are some cool features here that you can do with a quick shake you can launch the camera right there take a couple pictures zoom in on my little android guy right here just touch the screen to take pictures and you can see they're pretty quick so very nice very nice we'll find out about the quality of these peach pictures soon but um you know it is what it is so now there's one other feature you can do and this i love because i use my flashlight all the time with the little quick chop you can turn the flashlight on another quick chop you can turn the flashlight off so this is something i'm going to use i use my phone at work all the time like this so i, I just love it and obviously another quick twist and we'll turn the camera back on so it's very awesome well guys that about wraps it up on my review here of the motorola moto g third gen and i'm kind of excited for this device and the main reason is because the other moto g's that i've had first and second gen obviously um, I could never activate, I was on Verizon. Now that I'm on T-Mobile, I can actually use this device and I wanna do a kind of a full trial of it and at least use it for a week. And my plan is, I don't know if I'll do another review, but my kind of plan is, is to, I'll tweet about it on social media, Facebook, um, Google Plus, things like that. So if you wanna hear more about my feelings of actually using this as a daily driver, which is gonna be interesting for me, I haven't used a budget $200 phone in like ever. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting to do that and see how that experience goes. If you want to see more about that, definitely follow me on those social, uh, social media links. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for me. Hope you've enjoyed the review here of the Motorola Moto G. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.